This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 3. But verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh and a time to mourn and a time to dance. Verse 5, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Verse 6, a time to get and a time to loose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. Verse 7, a time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to call her lawyer. La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rachako the spoke of thumb. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Um, Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth to you. I say Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And um, just, um, you know, I saw an article on, um, I believe it's Yahoo, and, you know, through the spirit, you know, it made me think of a couple of scriptures and the time we're living in because, you know, the elders and everybody that's truly locked into the spirit or, you know, the brothers that I feel are sincere through the spirit, uh, you know, they're talking about the times approaching, the times that we already are in. You know, once they mandated, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that without proof of the vaccine. We about to go into Jacob's trouble or it's the beginning stages of it or it's here because you got brothers or, or, or Israelites that's about to be affected for it right now. Like um, the head I was dealing with, our camp head fellowship and whatnot, and um, he showed me... Um, a video that the, the the heads knew about and you know certain heads did video um, it was heck we did a video on it uh, me and the head um so long story short it was an israelite who's part of this man's uh military and he was you know he, you could tell he, he went from smiling to to you to to to, to, to scare you know uh, uh you know this man this man truly looks scared because he knows he's, he's put in that position that he has to make a choice uh and the scriptures told us that, you know what I mean? That's what it talks about uh, walking that straight path, you know. Um, you know, uh, he, he, he he's talking about maybe because of the fact he has a family and whatnot. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's why Paul said in Philippians chapter 3 about he counted all things as done to uh, for Hamashiach. So, um, you know, we coming into times like that, but not to digress because, you know, this is about a specific, um, this video is about a specific um, article I seen. But, and the reason why I brought that article out, because um, you go out there, you know, the, the, the Ecclesiastes literally said it's a time for such, such things. You know, it's a time for peace and it's a time for war. We're going into war because we're about to have war brought upon us. That's what that Jacob's trouble is, is persecution for Jacob. But it's a time to be born and a time to die. And that's what this article is talking about. It also tells you in the book of uh, Salakia, in the uh, um, Salakia, this is a scripture in the book of Sirach or the book of Ecclesiasticus. This is um, chapter four, Sirach chapter forty one, starting at verse three. Fear not the sentence of death. Remember them. That have been before thee and that come after, for this is the sentence of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh over all flesh. So, um, with the times coming, you know, it talks about how um, men are going to be, or or, or 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 believers are going to be martyrs for Yahweh Shah, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh namesake. You know, um, so you know, death is going to come regardless. You know, um, there's multiple scriptures on that. Um, we all. Um, must appear before the judgment seat of the uh, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. Um, so death is a part of life. You know, you just got to understand the times that we're in. You know, that's why um, 
the, 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 the brothers and I mean, you know, just the brothers period make a point to say, you know, although the, how merciful the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is, you know, you you got men and women of our nation that actually have um, possessions over in this place. But this was never meant to be our rest. It tells you in scripture that we have no continuing city. So, you know, what I mean, like you have people like Slim Thug that basically um, promoting that Maxine without. Actually, I mean, he probably is aware though. But to in my from from my spirit and from the video I saw, it just looked like he's a typical nigga. He, you know, he's in love with money. He worships mammon, like a lot of uh, 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 of our people do. At the end of the day, you know, and that goes back a long time. You know, what I mean, like that's something that's in you know our people history. You know, when you go into when they were sacrificing mammon, you know. And then you hear about the Illuminati and whatnot, you know what I mean? Like, they were sacrificing their children for m m monetary gain. Not understanding that it was a, it was a delusion of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But, um, let me bring out some of this article. How that happened. Bear with me for a second. So this is out of Yahoo News. It says they got it from the Huffington Huff Post or the Huffington Post. It says Texas judge says there are no kid ICU beds. Have to wait for another child to die. It's dated August fourteenth yesterday at three fifty one a.m. It says the Texas judge spelled out the dark CV situation for young people in the state on Friday, saying in an interview that it. In Dallas, we have zero ICU beds left for children. That means if your child's in a car wreck, if your child has a congenital heart defect and needs an ICU bed, ICU bed, or more likely if they have CV and need an ICU bed, we don't have one, said Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins. Your child will wait for another child to die, he said bluntly. You know what I mean? And this is all to play on the emotions of people, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. Because you got to remember, at one point in time, they were sending you... I know people personally that, you know, people talking about... the, Or, you know, I ain't, I've i I've heard brothers say they've never met anybody that's supposed to have had it. Um, I've met people that said that they were sick, but they didn't get diagnosed with it. Then I met a few people that supposed to have been diagnosed with it. I've met people that they were, to, were told to go home and, and isolate. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day... I mean, this shit, I mean, like I said, you could use the excuse that they needed, uh, you know, the bed for somebody that was really sickly or, you know, and then like I said, then you, you go on the account of that, you know what I mean? You know, it looked like Jake was getting sent home <laughs> when, when, when they supposed to have got diagnosed with it while he was actually put into the ICU bed. So, but nevertheless, you know what I mean? At the end of the day. You know, with these numbers going up, and this is all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. When you look at it, you got all this stuff going on, and then they talk about they don't have any beds for these younger people because of this Delta variant, because the numbers are going up. So, bear with me for a second. Jenkins' comments came amid his legal battle over masks with Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who last month signed an executive order declaring that local governments could not implement mass, mass mandates. And um, that's the spirit because me and the brothers was actually going into this yesterday at CAP. And um, I wasn't really aware of this. I mean, you know, I've been going through a few different things. So, you know, I just now getting caught up back up to the, to the news. Um, at the end of the day, um, uh, Call back up with the news. So, um, at the end of the day, um, Jenkins' comments came amid his legal battle over. Um, it says Jenkins successfully challenged the order issued his own requiring masks at school and certain businesses in the county. Abbott appealed the ruling to the Fifth Court of Appeals in Dallas. The court upheld Jenkins' order on Friday. Abbott has now filed an appeal with the Texas Supreme Court because basically um, the governor is saying that you can't force a, a, a mass mandate while um, I guess uh, th this judge you know what I mean so and then but 
uh, so this judge is Jenkins and then Abbott is the governor, but uh, I was reading comments based on that. And, you know, like, I guess they're doing a summons and ain't really like a, a warrant. You know, um, they're saying any judges or any politicians that try to pass these mandates, you know, the governor is going to go after. And, you know, at the end of the day, who's to say if it's smoke and mirrors? Who's to say if it's not real? Only how about Shimmy Aoshano? He's stirring the pot. You know what I mean? In Psalms 119, 126, it says about how he's about to work. You know, the, the Lord, uh, because they have, uh, he, he, he's work of work. Or roughly paraphrase, he's about to do work uh, because they... Uh, Basically ignored his law, roughly paraphrased. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I was I was reading, um, like I said, um, different comments from people that live in Texas, and they like, well, this is the first time, you know, one person said that this is the first time they heard of it, you know. And regardless of the fact, at the end of the day, it's division, and I know through the Spirit that Scripture says that division comes from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know. So, you know, at the end of the day, this is the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. So, basically, they plan on it, too, because when you take the time to think about it, he's saying, basically, okay, he's, you know, because it's fear. You know, that, if, if the governor's saying you can't force a mandate with the mask, but then he's saying, well, children going to die, your child going to die, they're going to have to wait on another child to die because, and he said, it ain't no matter what they came in for, but more than likely it's for CV. That's a fear tactic. That's his, the phone chimed on that one. It says, your child will not get on the ventilator. Your child will be airlifted to wherever we can find them in bed. Jenkins added, but they won't be getting one here unless one clears. The situation for adults does not appear to be much better. Jenkins tweeted Friday that only 17 adult ICU beds were currently available in the county. Texas currently has more than 11,200 CV patients in hospitals, more than, it, more than its hard more than it had <laughs> there's a what funny is about uh internet dudes is they always misspell it you would think they wouldn't because you got programs that get word searches and, ch and spell checks and, st and stuff it says uh, more than it had during last summer spike in cases bear with me for a second so lucky it says um more than it had during the last summer spike in cases statewide, there are only 323 ICU beds available as the number of people requiring hospital treatment surge is fueled by a spread of more contagious Delta variant and the plateauing of the vac v, v, v rate. The vast majority of people now being hospitalized with CV have not received the vaccine. <laughs> and they keep on always coming with that one. So, uh, you know, it's all, so again, that push of... Um, you know, um, it, you know, then the, the, those that aren't or who, who, who have not dealt with Vanessa as opposed to those that had dealt with Vanessa. And the thing is, that's the vision again. So again, like I said, scripture tell you, matter of fact, let me get it. And then I got a scripture because at the end of the day, if this is the case, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh judges every day. It tells you that in the book of Psalms. And, um, but you know, wicked people don't understand the judgment of the Most High. The Most High kills. Uh, the Most High might not kill you. It might kill your child. You know what I mean? Based on, that's your judgment. That's judgment, you know. It tells you in the scripture that the Most High judges every day. This is the book of Proverbs 28, chapter. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, understand all things. God. You know, evil man don't understand that the most high might not, you know, uh, take you out. You know, you got, you, you know, I mean, judgment is a heck of a thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. And it, it uh, well, I said I was going to get that scripture of division. Bear with me for a second. It's the book of Luke chapter 12, verse 51, the point. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Then it goes into from, for from his forth there shall be five and one house divided, three against two and two against three. The father shall, the father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother against the 
the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And that's going into basically, like, you're about to see this, based on, like I said, these um, people that chose to deal with Vanessa and those that didn't. You going? You, I mean, we, we, we recognize and seeing that right now with the brothers just went, and this is before it's even being pushed. You know, before it's really being mandated, like it's about to just start being mandated. But you got brothers that family members that taking this stuff and looking at them crazy. So, you know, so, I mean, me, myself, I don't really deal with my um, worldly family. So, you know, what I mean, um, I didn't have to suffer that like that. But, you know, that's coming and that's prophesied, you know, what I mean, at the end of the day, and, and along with all the other division, you know, what I mean, this is division. This is a divided country. And that's how, you know, we're at the end. At the end of the day, if you you know, for who whomever has a family member that may you know, um, you know, that's in that situation in Dallas, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, you know, um, w w w may, may have to worry about their child suffering or whatnot. At the end of the day, I mean, I know it's easier said than done, but you know, like I said, um, again, Philippians chapter three it talks about um, Paul saying he. Um, um, Counted all things as done to um, for Yahweh Yah Yahweh Mashiach's uh, for the knowledge for the ex excellency. You know, I was just listening to the elder apostle Tahar um, asking. You know, after camp, he asks the brothers and whatnot out that way um, um, questions, and, and he was asking why do you think Peter and Paul, like Peter, was allowed to. Uh, I mean, Peter had a wife, but Paul wasn't really dealing with women. Why do you think that is? You know, because the Most High put that spirit on him. Just like the Most High put the spirit on Peter to still have a family, but go out and do the work. You know what I mean? That's all the spirit that the Most High put on you. You know what I mean? As I, you know, ultimately, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, like I said, it's easier said than done. But, you know, to, you know, he, he, you're going to lose things in this thing. You know, brother just did a video about it, and I, I brought up the scripture in Ecclesiastes. It's a time for everything. We're going in time of war. You know, it talks about being a a, a good soldier of your Hawashah Hamashiach in the book of Timothy. Um, I think it's Second Timothy. It talks about how uh, endure all hardness. And, and any soldier doesn't um, basically um, worry about the affairs of this world, regardless of whatever they is, you know. So this is the book of Psalm 68, um, verse 20. He that is, is our power is the power of salvation. And unto our power, Salaki, he that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto our power, and unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushah belong the issues from death. So the Most High, that tells you in the book of Samuel about the Most High, uh, first, I think it's first Samuel. Yeah, yeah, it's First Samuel. It talks about how the Most High kill her for makeup a lie, because it was a um, prayer by Hannah, um, or it was a song. I believe it was a song from from Hannah. Um, but um, yeah, God. So um, at the end of the day, you know, the Most High creates and, and destroys. He, he he brings up and brings low. He makes a life and he puts to death, you know what I mean? So I just thought it interesting. But, I, I mean, you know, I also see, you know, uh, you know, psych, psych ops behind that, you know what I mean? This man, this judge literally went on, you know, a publication and literally uh, to make public, he publicized the fact that, oh, yeah, to, 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 to exploit these people's fear. Because, like I said, the governor's is saying basically um, it's going to be an issue if you try to force mass mandates but if you go at the children, you know what I mean? You know, that's a whole totally different thing. You know, what I find, like the brothers were speaking about at camp, they was like, um, you know, I've never seen a level of witchcraft like this. And, you know, yeah, it is witchcraft. Because at the end of the day, if you've already been told that you, they forcing you to take something that doesn't actually help with this new variant and everything, but yet still you got people still forcing or going to literally like uh, be – Adamant, if you got it, a word about it, if you took the the, the 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 concoction, the potion, then that's some witchcraft. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not even proven effective. So why would you care if this person took it? You know? So uh, with that, I'm going to end the lesson. Um, Lord willingly, it was edifying in some kind of way. 
Uh, just like I say, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole, Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. We about to start moving. You can see it. You know, uh, you got all these, uh, you got the earthquake in Haiti. You know, it talks about uh, if judgment begin at the house of the Lord, you know. <laughs> well, no, it talks about judgment shall begin at the house of the Lord. And I know we brought out these scriptures prior, but, you know, that same day, I believe, I did a video the day before, I think India got flooded. Uh, I want to say Korea or Japan or China. It was one of those, you know, it was either Korea. I, well, no, Korea did, I think, a week prior. But I think it was Japan that got flooded. Did, like I say, India got flooded. And then Haiti got hit with an earthquake. Those are all signs of the Most High. Or that's all the Most High speaking. Uh, the most High passing judgment. Call law, you la yah, bashim, shah. So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Asian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. You know, repent, come back to your heritage before the destruction. And with that, Shalom, Shalom, and Mawath, Lababal, Shalom.